Okay, so on about the mobility requirements for the four key positions in the clean. Key positions are the start and the first pull, at the second pull, the receive or the deep front squat position, and then at the finish with the front rack. So <clears throat> with the start, similar to a snatch, it's actually a little bit easier. You need to be able to sit over your ankles, you need to be able to control your pelvis, and keep your back up and straight. So hamstring length, pelvic control, or lower back out strength, hip flexor strength and control just to keep your back straight. Uh, you need your chest up again, so thoracic extension strength. It's a little bit easier in the clean because it's not quite as, because uh, you've got a narrower grip, the range of motion is not as big. Uh, the second pull position, up to there, same as the snatch again, it's just about having strength to maintain good position so having the strength in your hamstrings in your thoracic spine to maintain those good positions with your back straight with your upper back extended uh, the receive at the front squat position same as a normal front squat you need good ankle flexibility pelvic control hamstring length etc and you need a good upper body position chest up thoracic extension Elbows up, good bar position on your shoulders, elbows high, hand out. So you need shoulder extension, external rotation, you need thoracic extension, uh, you need spinal alignment and control, or pelvic control. So you need front squat position at the bottom there, there, elbows up, chest up. And then the final position is here. Front back getting ready to jerk. So in that position, it's normal to drop your elbows down a little bit. It's ready to push yourself under. So there you need a good, again, thoracic extension, strength especially, shoulder external rotation and extension. You need the wrist extension as well. Everyone should have the wrist extension um, if you have shoulder mobility. The wrist doesn't need to be too extended when your shoulders do extend. So usually when people get sore wrists, it's not because their wrists are too tight, it's because their shoulders are too tight and they can't get their elbow up. So when your elbow's not up, you're asking your wrist to do more. So if you do get sore wrists, I would look at your shoulders predominantly. You can stretch your wrist out as well, it won't hurt, but it's, it's, not, the, it's not the cause, it's the symptom. Uh, in that right position, yeah, that's the main thing. It's just that keeping your chest up with the bar sat comfortably on your shoulders.